do to make night and day, and how the moon crosses the night sky. Can everybody see from Mother Earth's eyes that this is the way it all works outside? Good, now memorize all this. This is on your final exam today. <laughs> what a waste of our memory on this. Why not? Because there's a better way to explain it from a different viewpoint. Yeah. First of all, Mother Earth, you're right out here. Try not towards your doorway. Now I want to do that way. Okay, now, according to my new teacher, Copernicus. Yeah, Copernicus the heretic. Well, let's hear it for the heretics! <laughs> a couple of them out there. According to Copernicus, Mother Earth, you're on here, face the center pole here, and it's Father Sun that's at the center. Sun, come right over here, put your back against the center pole, and you don't move. Next is Mercury, you're the innermost planet, which means you're the closest. You are fleet footed, which means you go fast. A little faster. <laughs> Don't worry, if you get dizzy, you can use a tape his little bucket over there. <laughs> Next is Venus. Now, Mother Earth, can you see why the solar family is always seen together? It's because we are inside the orbit of the Earth, right around the stationary sun. Can everybody see this through Mother Earth's eyes? Yep. Well, just a minute now, Gal. How about that story in the Bible? Remember when Joshua needed more daylight and he commanded the sun to stop moving? Remember that story? And the Bible says that the sun stopped moving and stood still in the sky. 